All right, good afternoon. Thank you very much for the session, the very uh, insightful session that we've had so far. So uh, my question is straightforward and direct. Uh, it's very important. And it's, it's this, why aren't we having this conversation? Now, what conversation? My name is Samuel Ogenejabo, popular known as Sammy Flow. I'm an entrepreneur, musician, and uh, I'm a PR specialist. I help creatives like musicians get better profiling and you know, uh, promote themselves online. Now, talking about the question, the conversations rather we don't have, I understand there are two categories of musicians. There are the gig musicians, there are performing artists. But when we talk about music meets technology, music and technology all the time, we dive deep and the conversation is always narrowed to recording, recorded music. Leaving out the aspect of uh, the kind of musicians who don't care about recording their music. There are musicians who just want to do gigs from here to here and get a paycheck and get out. They don't care about people recognizing their name or remembering their name. They just want to do gigs. They are like uh, freelancers. But we don't have conversations around those kind of musicians. I mean, they are the gig musicians. They are performing artists. We have the creative economy, yes, but we also have the gig economy. So my question is, why don't we have conversations like this that address problems these musicians face. They, ch they have challenges. Most of them have challenges of visibility, challenges of even client relationship, managing their booking, um, you know, getting payments quick, addressing disputes, clients, musician disputes during gigs and, you know. So my question goes again, why don't we have this conversation? Thank you. Can I say something to that? So first of all, I think some of us, or most musicians out there, their background is not the best, more like how they started playing or how they found themselves into music. Like I mentioned, coming to Muson taught me how to write a profile first. If you ask any musician out there, some of them can't even write about what they do. Their own is, oh, we are coming to an event. Once the event, not even when the event is over, once the music stops, they are gone. Like, they get distracted from whatever is going on in that event. They don't remember who asked them to come. They don't remember the clients, you know? So I feel it's about details. Most musicians out there don't care about details. They just want to play the music. I'll speak for myself as an example. Um, when I started the music, I was so neck deep into playing that I forgot some other things. This could sound like a joke, but it's a true life story. I didn't have a handbag. My handbag was my sack. Until a friend said, you don't even want a handbag. You're not even a girl anymore, right? So it got to a point that I realized that you don't just play the music, there are all the things that you should know. I started reading about music. I started reading about business. I started reading about management. I started reading about how you talk to people. Don't just leave the event and then wait for your alert. Talk to your audience, talk to your clients, talk to people. No, I mean, you should remember the events you played. So it's still a problem because most artists don't know. We don't even know insurance. I told someone I was insuring my sack. They're like, you're just wasting money. I said, but it's, it's needed. So most musicians just need to wake up. Unfortunately, a lot of people are old, but I believe the younger generations can understand that aside from getting serious and being a virtuoso at your instrument, you need to learn a whole lot more about music that is not even music per se. Um, to, towards that end, maybe you'd want to comment on um, how musicians can brand, because I, the kinds of musicians that will just go and do a party or whatever it is, don't really doesn't matter, they do the event and leave right away. They're not, it would appear that they're not doing very much with marketing their image. No, it's very important. But the thing is, Samuel asked, why aren't we having these conversations? He didn't ask, right? Am I right? So, so my, my own, own question, question to you is, is why, why aren't you starting a podcast, podcast to talk about these things? things. Yeah. That's my question to you. That's an opportunity actually right there. Because, because it, is it is real. real. I'm, I'm also, also a gig, gig artist, artist right? right? And, and you know, you're talking, you're talking about, about sound, sound engineering, engineering, even the stage. stage. Is it built properly? properly. The client, like, like, do they even care that you came with a full band and they're putting you on at midnight? There are all these things and I get it. So, so, yes, yes you, have you have the mic. mic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, for noting that. So, uh, like I said earlier, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a tech founder. I have an app we're building now to help musicians manage gigs and payments in real time. And then solving clients' disputes and all that thing, and even help them branding. We, we use the phrase, let's do the talking, because we know creatives like focusing on creativity. 
the, the leave order has been out of it. But my point now is we need to we need more people to address these challenges. It cannot be done by one person, two people. We need more more conversations around this. Let people stand up and get into this space and solve this problem at large. Let's have more collaboration. You know, more people solving this problem. And it starts with having the conversations about those things. Thank you. Uh, point noted, and we'll take it into consideration. Bring, bring us on as your guest artist on your podcast. Sir, we have um, a question from one of our trustees in front. I'm surprised that I'm able to stand up because I've been simply blown over by all that I've heard. And before I ask my question, I'd like to just um, amplify what you said to our last person. I think, I think you missed miss what, what was being suggested to you. And as, as an, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur I th I and as a lawyer, lawyer, I will I represent, represent you, you and I will I make sure that sure I charge you for taking free, free advice. advice. <laughs> Business advice. Business advice. So we are going to send an invoice for that. Okay? okay. So what, what is a good idea? idea. Think, think about, about it. it. Start a, Start a podcast. podcast. The thing you're talking, talking about. about. He's giving you free business, free business advice. advice. It's, it's not copyrighted. It's not, it's not licensed. licensed. And you're still and going, going on about the other one. one. All right, bro. Right, give, give me, please. please. <laughs> now, talking, talking about, about that, that, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. And, and 